But anyway, let's just get to like, you know, the travel beat and TikTok as well. Yeah. Because that's the main thing that, you know, I saw, which, which one of your videos did I see? Is it, was it the one from Egypt? I think that's the first video that I saw. Okay. Was it Egypt? No, which one, which one has the 3 million views? That's uh, on uh, Mitumba. Ah, okay then. Okay, that, that was Kenya. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just confusing the Egypt one. And, okay, so let's talk about Egypt first. Okay. Because I think that's what you've posted like on TikTok. You've posted Uganda yep. and you've posted Kenya as well. Yeah. But Kenya clearly takes the, you know, takes the crown home. <laughs> but let's do, let's talk about uh, Egypt. How was your experience traveling to Egypt? And I'm guessing that would have been like one of the first videos that kind of like shaped like how you're doing content, like now in different countries. So or? this was actually two years ago. Yeah. The first time I'd come to Kenya right before I was in Egypt. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was uh, focused on making vlogging content. Like I really wanted to emulate like the Kurt Kazes of the world. If you yeah. see it, <laughs> get out of the taxi, roll the camera, mm. meet people, keep the adventure going, that type of style. Um, I had made it. It was quite challenging to film in Egypt. There's a language barrier. Um, a lot of the people that do speak English that you'll run into, it's because they work in tourism and they're trying to get money, like <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> flat out. Yeah. So it, it was quite, I found it challenging. The people like, it's part of why I love filming in Kenya is because the English is so widespread and most everybody can have a good conversation. So I can go, I can walk down the, right outside here and, and talk just to talk anyone. to anybody. And anyone. that's the type of content I like. I don't just want to talk to people that mm -hmm. are working in an industry where they've learned English. You know? Yeah. But Egypt was, yeah, that's where I started with vlogging. Uh, I had started uploading to TikTok. Um, my plan for that trip was actually to go from Cairo to Cape Town taking buses. What? But it was a terribly planned trip because the timing was still in the heat of COVID. <laughs> oh. There was conflict in Ethiopia. The borders weren't even open. Yeah. While I was in Egypt, the Sudan's first sort of uh, uh, uprise or what are the issues they have yes. there kicked off. Yes. And I remember being like, okay, I think I'm just going to, I have to just give up on this plan. <laughs> and I just flew to Nairobi. Yeah. And then I got here and I was still like, okay, maybe we'll do Nairobi to Cape Town. But then I came and I was like, I love filming content here. Uh, I was spending most of my time, uh, it, it just sort of happened, I wanted to film a video in Kibera. Yeah. Uh, so I went and stayed for a couple days and then I found an apartment that I could basically live out of for the time I was in here and I ended up just living out of Olympic uh, for most of the time. Oh, that's along Gong Road, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just on the, the, the entrance to the Kibera area. Yeah, don't give people the details. I mean, you know, <laughs> people just start showing up like, hey, are you not there anymore? I don't know that there anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, but yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, that, that's that's where I started, and I, I loved it there. And then uh, that's when I was like, okay, I'm gonna derail this plan, and I'm just gonna make content in Kenya. Maybe go move on in, in East Africa once my, my visa's up. Mm -hmm. um, and I that's I really enjoyed it. There was a lot of content to be made. I found people were amazingly open. Uh, that was an area, and I particularly like filming in areas that even locals are scared to go because of a yeah, history. Yeah, I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm not going there. It's actually, I was, I, I'm a Mazungu running around. <laughs> no, 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 listen, because with you, it can go either way. It can go well, because most people who are also like in such areas, when they see you, they know maybe you're coming to document something. So yeah. they know you're creating like, especially if they see a camera, they'll be respectful. Like, okay, he's coming to do content. Yeah. You never know, like this might turn into something, but they're always welcoming when it comes towards just if it's content, but me just casually moving around there and now, uh, yeah, I think I'd be a target, but, you know, I mean, and you know, like that's now that's where you hear, like, you know, sometimes people say like, that's just white people shit. Cause not all of us can understand. I'm surprised you haven't gone to play with lions, tigers <laughs> and everything. Like, cause you won't find me doing that as well. <laughs> <laughs> and it's crazy cause you being in East Africa, I haven't seen you, uh, doing like, you know, the usual thing that people are mostly obsessed with, like wildlife and just going for safaris and everything. For you, it's more like just mingling with people. Why the interest in people? I always tell people, always say that because I still, I'm going to go on a safari soon. <laughs> I feel <laughs> yeah. like I've been, I spent too much time to not. <laughs> yeah. Um, but people always ask, why are you not doing this and this? I'm like, I can't talk to a lion. I can't talk to an elephant. True. That's true. <laughs> I can't talk to a mountain. It's, it's just not something I've been into. I'm into yeah. people and the stories of people. 
I want to get deep into a city. I want to make friends. Uh, I want to be somewhere that people are scared of or they have a certain impression of, and I want to go there and tell stories. And then even in a lot of places I film, um, like by the time I've taken out a camera and filmed, I've already been there a few times and I've already tried to just wander around on my own. Meet oh, people without even filming. Without, yeah, yeah, yeah. I try, oh, okay. to, I try to go, wander around, see if I can meet somebody who, who feels authentic and would be a good character to have as well mm. that also has some street cred in the area so that they can help me connect with the right people. Um, if it's Dandora or somewhere particularly dangerous, I... then it, I can have a bit of protection, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that, that, that's why I like it. So, but, and I also, I've kind of, from the beginning, my ethos on making content is I, I think the best content is things that people aren't really doing. That's true. That's true. And before you find that unique lane, I think that's why even like with Mtumba, like now it blew up because they're like, yeah. what? You really went into the details, mingling with people, and people are just like, yes, people. And I, I can only imagine that was how many, how long ago was that? This was two weeks ago. Oh, them Tumba was two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. And it hit three million? Yeah, yeah. It hit three million within like three days. Jeez. <laughs> how are the notifications on that? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> okay, is there any other video that you can say has surpassed that? Or Not that's yet. the highest? No, but I have a part two that I filmed yesterday. Oh, the Mtumba. Of Mtumba. Oh, okay. The part two is, uh, a lot of the comments I got were from Americans, because this was one, a lot of my videos too, I, I came back because last time when I was here, I was focused on YouTube, and YouTube was getting very little traction. Yeah. As an afterthought, I would cut the most interesting minute, put it on TikTok, and then it would take off. Sure. <laughs> Sometimes sure. over 100,000. Mm -hmm. So when I was planning on what to do, I'd quit my job that I was in a few months ago. And I was like, what do I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to start looking for work till January. I have enough savings to float me for a little while. Mm -hmm. I was like, what do I want to do? And I was like, I hadn't been making videos. I felt like a emptiness of not doing creative work. Yeah. And I, I was like, thing. where, sh like, why don't I just go back to Kenya? I love it there. I was missing it after, after a while. I was really missing food and just the vibe and, mm. and just how it is here. I, it's, it could be a challenging place to travel. I'm not sugarcoating it. I, I meet a lot oh, of... Kenya? Yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> I meet a lot of foreigners that are a bit like, how, how are you so in love with Nairobi? And I think Wait, I'm, is it that crazy? Are, people, are there people who've like had like an experience and they're like, oh, it's just too much for me? I think, yeah, if you take a foreigner downtown. <laughs> oh, of course. No, and but but the thing is, like, you're glowing in the middle of, like, people who are trying to, like, make money. Yeah. And everyone is just trying to sell you something, even yeah. when you're just trying to chill. And that can be very overwhelming. And I think that's True. a reason why a lot of foreigners come here and they stay a night in Nairobi and then they book it and they go out to a nice safari where mm. they spend crap tons of money and the, but they get to feel comfortable <laughs> oh that actually makes sense or they can even just go down to the coast where it's just like isolated yeah. beaches and chill they can go to diani that feels like america <laughs> yeah because you're just in your sandals walking around having coconut juice yep. okay that makes sense that makes sense nobody's trying to hustle you for anything I think you get hustled. Uh, I Even get, there. Yeah, there's hustle in Dionia. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really? But, but it's easier to just stay at Soul Breeze, stay at a resort, and be in, a, and be in your comfort zone. Compared to Nairobi, is a bit out of the comfort zone. I mean, you, no. can, yeah. you can stay in Westlands and go to Alchemist. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, feel, and feel safe. But, uh, True. You know, or, like, feel like you're at home. Uh, but, but I think it's, it's to each their own. There are certain, certain people that love chaos. I'm one of them. Um, and in that case, then somewhere like downtown Nairobi is, is fun. And the, fa some, the fact that you just describe it as like, I want to go. In your own words, you're saying, I, f I want to go somewhere where I feel like it's dangerous. Yes. That's <laughs> not me. I know I, I do have my medical cover life insurance, but hey, I'm not, I don't use any of it right now. Like, you know, let me just keep my premiums on the low before I start doing that. But anyway, to that, like, especially like the Mtumba 